Happy New Year! Uh, this is uh, first Monday of 2016 and uh, this video will probably get out a little late. I've been trying to get the videos out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but over the weekend I didn't, uh, you know, we had New Year's, I didn't do anything. Um, Saturday I installed that door, that security door. It took all day because I also had to install the other, the he was supposed to have a contractor come out and prep the area and get everything ready to go and that didn't happen so I foolishly offered to to do that too and uh, it was it was just a laundry list of uh, headache and we finally got it all in it needs uh, he wants to add another little thing I'm not even gonna worry about showing you uh, then yesterday was Sunday uh, I had to do a little odd job uh, for some uh, friends of mine that own a Quiznos, and uh, which is great because I get paid in sandwiches, so that's good. Uh, today I'm clearing out. Uh, I'm, I'm just clearing out the garage uh, to make room. I'm going to get that uh, retort kiln in here, and we're going to take a look at it and see where we're at on it, and uh, we're going to get started with it. So as soon as I can get <coughs> this. Uh, that table saw right there it's uh, the wheels broke and it's sitting on a furniture dolly that has broken and I gotta f I've been taking it in and out it's just getting worse and worse I gotta I gotta figure something out with that but as soon as we're done with that we're getting that uh, retort kiln in here we're gonna we're gonna get to work on it so uh, let's get started Okay, uh, this is one of those projects where I haven't touched it in so long. I had to kind of look it over for a while and see where I was at and what I was doing. Uh, <clears throat> this is a retort kiln, or it's the start of one. And it started out, this is one water heater, actually, one hot water heater. And what I did was I cut it, I cut it to length. You can kind of see. So we cut it this long, and then I split it. And I cut one, the leftover half, I straightened them out and turned them, and that made the side so I didn't have to buy any material. Uh, it's probably not the best way to do it, but, you know, I just was doing with what I had. And, because uh, like I said, it's mostly for an experiment at this point to see how well it works. Uh, I think if I built a second one, I'd build it out of uh, masonry and, you know, the... The, the, the housing, the actual firebox would be uh, masonry of some sort. But what we have is this smaller wa hot water heater, smaller in diameter. I need to cut it to length, and I think that's what we're going to do right now, is we're going to mark this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and cut it to length and get the, uh, uh, oh, let me get the phone. Anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to mark this thing out, cut it to length, and then uh, cut some spacers to because when it sets in here, I got I, I've got it figured so it'll have a one inch kind of gap in here, and I want to cut some uh, one inch uh, square tube into length staggered because I also want them to act as kind of baffles to to slow those uh, exhaust gases to, to slow the hot air down on its way to the exhaust so that it gets as hopefully gets as much heat into this chamber where the wood is going to be uh, turned into charcoal as possible so uh, let's go ahead and start marking that up
right there it is it's all cut it's the right length I cut these little bungs out the the uh, little boiler flange or whatever they were uh, so what we've got now is this is supposed to be so that it's big enough for one inch a one inch gap between the out the, the outside of the the one that goes in the vessel inside vessel and and, and this but I didn't measure it right from the top here to where this thing is setting and that's all this one is is just I think it's I don't think it's welded I think it's just tacked in there or I think it's just setting there the other one is actually welded in and it's staying but it doesn't fit so I'm gonna have to cut a little little notch out to make room for this guy and uh, then what we're gonna do is see if we can't get uh, I'll have to cut a couple of plugs to uh, to fit you know to weld in here and then um, what else do we do oh and then our little one inch pieces and then we're gonna see if we can't get this thing at least tacked in so uh, let's uh, let's trim these things I think that's it for today um, we've got so what we, what did we get done we got basically this was the better part of a water heater we've cut it down we've we've cut it to length we've got it tacked in place you can see there's a little one inch gaps here it's uh, a little eh, it's not pretty it's not perfect and I don't care I put this this was the bottom and we flipped it over I don't know why I, I didn't really have to I just I don't know it just seemed appropriate that the the bell should go out I still have to uh, I guess this kind of defines de decided that this is going to be the back of it because what I'm going to do is I got to come out of here with a uh, uh, small pipe comes out uh, goes down into the, the burn chamber so that as the uh, wood gases are generated it burns those wood gases off uh, before I start welding this all together, I'm gonna have to grind this off. It just it's really scaly and you can see some really ugly Ugly welds, but I also have to get this all lined up part of the reason for putting this on here now Was I wanted it to be more or less round. I didn't want it to be too deformed when I put it in I wanted to sort of hold that round shape uh, Tomorrow 
tomorrow I'll be back out here. I don't know that I'll be working on that so much. I had a, a client drop off his trailer. I don't know if you can see that. It's out there on the street. Uh, he wants me to build some little uh, uh, brackets so that he can haul a conduit on it. And uh, but we will be back to this before the end of the week. If I not if I'm not on it tomorrow, I'll be on it the next day or who knows. But anyway, so uh, oh, and some of you have been asking about the ranchero. Uh, the ranchero has not moved. It's sitting on the rotisserie. Uh, uh, it's. I've got. I've got a plan. It, it's. It's ugly, but uh, I ripped out the bed. It was. It was just so hammered. So I've got to do a lot of repair to that. But uh, I had a. I had a 289. Wow, I'm in the dark again. Uh, I had a 289. Well, it's right here. This is a, the 289 that I had set aside for the ranchero. I uh, traded it, uh, con contrary to the evidence that where it's setting here, I did trade it for a 302 that uh, uh, I think will be a little bit more fun. But uh, like I said, that's it for today. And, uh, you know, if you have questions, put them in the comments. And if you have comments, put them in the comments. If you have insults, put them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.